Well, Dan, a really cold start to this week. It has been. We're uh, now well below normal. And take a look. We're 29 in Salt Lake City right now, uh, dropping to 19 tonight. But that uh, 13 degree temperature in Rock Springs, <laughs> west southwest wind 17, wind chill 5 to 10 below right now. Oh, that's bitter cold. All right. Well, for us, though, take a look at the oh, these are some eagles. We're up there in the area of Weber County. Those are bald eagles. They certainly have the. Uh, Wow, that is just magnificent. Some snow on the ground and temperatures which are cold, as Jed was mentioning. One was just taking off right there. How about Rock Springs this morning? You were minus 10. You're actually warming up. That's what a Chinook is. You're getting the Chinook, but you're suffering with the wind. Afton was minus 12 this morning. St. George this afternoon, a chilly 52 after a morning low of 30. So kind of a really different weather pattern around the state. Now we have some clouds still moving in tonight. These clouds will buffer us a little bit, keep us a slight bit warmer this evening. Once these clouds pass by, temperatures along the Wasatch Front will drop quickly by the morning into the teens. And in the south where it's clear, you're definitely going to be cold tonight, but maybe not as cold as in the north because we certainly do have a lot of snow cover on the ground. We're watching this storm out in the Pacific. It'll move over the top. It won't have much of an impact on us. Here are these clouds, this weak weather system moving by right now. But the ridge is really the dominating weather feature, and this is what you need to know about. It's so big, so strong, even these big storms in the Gulf are going to have a hard time moving over the top of Utah. So for the next uh, six, six days, good time to wash your car. You won't have to worry. This little weak weather system, there's the back edge. It'll move through by about 2 a.m. and then skies will clear and this big ridge of high pressure will put this into motion for you. Watch some showers lingering around Yellowstone Park and up around Driggs, Wyoming, Driggs, uh, Idaho and Afton, Wyoming. But by uh, and large, we are under high pressure and generally this is going to be the weather feature. We will build a little bit of haze heading towards about Saturday, Sunday or Monday, but temperatures warm up even in Cache Valley from the 20s to the low 40s and then Wednesday, we have a little storm system. Wasatch back. Now this is where you get the real warm up because in the upper elevations will warm up quite a bit quickly while the lower elevations will have an inversion. So it stays colder in Salt Lake City than it does in Park City. And then there's a little storm. 40% chance in the basin by about Wednesday, but look how cold it's going to be with fog developing at times, temperatures below zero. And until the clouds move in by about Tuesday, Wednesday, you stay cold, you're in the freezer. Price, Castle Country, Emory County warming up into the 40s and then that little storm on Wednesday. A little too early to tell if it, it might even arrive on Tuesday, but that's the next chance for any showers anywhere in the state for that matter. Southeastern Utah kind of chilly, 30 for you tomorrow, 33 on Friday. 49 though by Valentine's Day and Cedar City you're you, 55 by Valentine's Day and a little wind and some rain and snow on Wednesday St. George you're talking temperatures in the 50s and yes the 60s won't you love Monday and you'll like Sunday but you'll love Monday 64 and in Salt Lake City we're going to be 35 tomorrow 38 tomorrow into the, or Friday, then 40, 42. And then we get a bump with some south winds on Valentine's Day, close to 50, same thing on Tuesday. Little storm, that storm we'll have to watch and see what it does, but uh, I'm washing my car today, Jed. That's proof that I really believe my forecast.